Hi everyone, in this tutorial I'll be demonstrating how easy it is to use nail polish as a scale modelling paint. Now you might be thinking, why would you be using nail polish as a model paint? Well there's a few, there's two main good reasons. Um, the first is the range of colours you'll get a ton more colours than what you would in normal uh, hobby paint ranges and the other reason is no polish is tough once it dries it's tough you, you wear it on your fingernails it, it's resistant to scratches and stuff it takes a lot of beating before, the, before it starts to wear down so it is ideal for, uh, for plastic models now people from the car modelling community know about this, they use this, quite, this uh, method quite often to get hard uh, paint jobs uh, and realistic looking paint jobs using the, um, the candy sort of colours that you can get with nail polish and basically nail polish is just a lacquer paint so all we need to do is thin it and then it's ready to, ready to airbrush so I'll, there's a couple of examples of uh, nail polish I have here. These are just cheap brands. Uh, this one's just uh, this is L'Oreal, so it's a little bit dearer, but um, it's a nice, nice metallic blue. But uh, this is the one I'll be using for this tutorial because I want to use this colour on a uh, on a build on building at the moment. Um, this was cheap. This was only like a couple of dollars Australian uh, at one of the local department stores so pretty much half the price of a uh, pot of modeling paint and more just slightly more uh, just just for example uh, just this is Mr. Hobby Mr. Mr. Hobby is 10 mil uh, these pots are like 10 mil this this jar here is uh, 14 mil so you can see uh, for half the price you get a little bit more uh, plus with thinning you get a lot more so the other things you'll need uh, just a measuring cup just to uh, put the thinner into an empty jar that you can mix your paint into something to stir the paint with this is just my good old stirring stick which is just a big old nail and so either lacquer thinners or all purpose thinner or general thinners general purpose thinners this is called in some places now the, between there's not much difference between lacquer thinner and uh, general purpose thinners um, general purpose thinners will thin different types of paint but um, it's very similar to lacquer in consistency and chemicals so what we need to do what we'll do first is um, empty half into the jar what we want is roughly a mixing ratio of about one to one. Actually, before I do this, I will put down something underneath it. And also, remind people, because nail polish is quite potent, it does contain stuff like acetone, make sure you do it in a well-ventilated area and take precautions, protective precautions. I should really be wearing gloves, but I don't have any gloves at the moment, so I'll just be, be careful. But, make sure you take all the precautions you need, including respirators once you start airbrushing. So what we'll do, we'll just take the, uh, the brush out, and put it to one side. It's worth noting too that I'd, I have shaken this up beforehand, so make sure you do, you do shake it up. Uh, just for a point of reference, I will... I will shake it up on camera give it a good shake just so all the pigments do mix up and then and empty about half into the jar like so and put it to one side put the cap back on put it to one side now what we need to do now, now we've got roughly half a jar, which is about 5 to 5 mil. Uh, we need to add the same amount of thinner, because we want to thin this at the rate of one part paint to one part thinner. So what we'll do now is just um, 
I'll tip some into uh, the measuring cup of the thinner. I'll do this off camera because it's a bit hard on camera, so just bear with me. So using the uh, thinner there, as you can see, I've just added 5mm of thinner to um, my measuring cup and then carefully pour it in and then we'll just mix it up using our stirring stick. And uh, just a general rule of thumb with thinning, as with any other paint, uh, we just need to make sure it's the consistency of milk. So the trick is, I'll see if I can get it on camera, um, using your steering stick, just wipe it up the side of the jar. And if it runs runs back down pretty quick, um, and but still leaves a bit of pigment there, you're pretty much right. So what we'll do now... I'll just uh, clean that off. Um, it's ready for airbrushing. We'll put it in the airbrush, give it a spray, and then we might need to readjust um, the thinning ratios depending on the pigments in it. Because this does have some metallic pigments, it might be a bit, a bit uh, large for the airbrush itself. So to combat that, what we just need to do is just add a little bit more thinner or a little bit of paint, depending on how much um, what the paint does to the airbrush itself. So I'm off now to shoot this through the airbrush and we'll be back soon to show you the results. Okay, so I've airbrushed the parts there with the no polish mix. Uh, these are just a couple of parts here for example. Uh, these have been drying for about 10 minutes or so, uh, so they're pretty much right to touch. As you can see, I can touch it, no paint comes off, no fingerprints are left. I can actually run my fingernail over it and there's no visible marks or scratches. So as you can see, nail polish is quite tough and it works well as a uh, model paint. A few things to, to finish up, uh, treat this nail polish as, an, as a lacquer based paint, so use lacquer thinners or general, general purpose thinners. Same applies to when you clean your airbrush, clean your airbrush like you would with the when you've been using a uh, lacquer paint like Mr. Color or Gaia or something similar flush it out using lacquer thinner or um, general purpose thinner once it's clean give it a flush out with the water just to clean the chemicals out and pretty much anything after this point treat this paint as a lacquer based paint so any top coats and washes etc need to be uh, chosen in regards to it being a lacquer based paint so there you have it a cheap, easy way of getting a strong durable paint by using standard nail polish.